Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Kyla and I am oh so excited to have you join us for today's video. So today, um, I've actually filmed this video once a couple months ago, but my um, computer lost the footage. So today we're doing the doll decisions tag created by my wonderful friend Koa, aka Lynn Life, here on YouTube. I will leave her channel and her tag video linked down below. If I forget, you guys know the drill, just harass me until I put it in there. Um, she created this and I loved this. I love doing tags and stuff. I haven't done too many, but when she created this, I was like, oh my god, I love tags, I love AG, let's do it. And then my computer decided to lose the footage. So I'm doing it in a little bit of a different format. Um, basically, I have on Instagram, like my all my dolls thread, and these are the pictures that I use for most of them. My current, like my most recent dolls don't have official pictures like this. And these are not the best pictures. I just needed to get pictures up for that thread. So um, I'm just going to use them all. We have Penelope here because you all know she's my fave. So anyway, um, basically what this means is I'm going to go through and I am going to read off the questions. I have them here on my phone and um, I'm going to pick a doll that basically corresponds with that answer. It's going to be super fun and I'm tagging all of you guys. So if you have a YouTube channel and you want to do this, definitely um, go create it and then let me know and I would love to watch. So without further ado, let's get into the questions. Question one is, who was your first doll? And I'm sure you guys probably know this, but my first doll was Kit Kittredge. I got her for Christmas the year she came out um, from my parents, and she basically started it all. So she is um, almost 20 years old, I think. Question two is, who was your most sentimental doll? And for me, that would be my Kirsten Larson. She was my second doll, and my great aunts bought her for me on my very first trip to the AG place in Chicago. Number three is the dream doll you never thought you would have, and mine definitely was Leah Clark, and now I have her, and I love her so, so much. Next question is, who is your dream retired doll? And basically, as of right now, it is Cecile, so that's why we have a picture of Marie Grace here, because that is her best friend, and I have one half of the duo, and I'm hoping and praying that someday I will get Miss Cecile Ray. Next is favorite retired Truly Me that you own. And fun fact, all three Truly Me's that I own are still available at American Girl. So here we have Zoe, my 84. And um, basically, I just put her here because I don't actually own any retired Truly Me's. So yeah. Favorite retired girl of the year that you own. And we have Miss Leah back again because I love her, like I said. Favorite retired historical that you own? So mine is Elizabeth. I know she's a best friend doll, but if I put all of my retired historicals and their retired best friends together, um, Elizabeth was my favorite doll from the moment I got her in 2005. So um, Elizabeth, definitely um, my queen from my childhood. And she does need a new wig, but um, we'll get her fixed up soon, I promise. Doll you wish you would not have bought. So this is actually funny because this is my Josefina and I bought her secondhand along with my Kaya um, in June of this year. And I didn't really feel a connection with her even after I modernized her. So um, fun fact, this doll does not exist anymore. Um, she is getting a brand new wig and already has brand new eyes. And hopefully um, once I decide what wig I want to go with, um, she will be making her debut, I guess. Who is your most photogenic doll? And if you own Leah Clark, then you understand why she is here because you could literally just take a picture of her, one picture, and she comes out absolutely perfect. Who is the doll that is most featured on your YouTube? And that is Penelope, without a doubt. Who is your favorite custom that you own? And this answer is Merlot, and it might actually surprise a lot of you because you guys know Penelope is my number one. And she is a custom, but Merlot is my favorite custom when you like put all the customs together simply because I designed her and then it's a doll I've put her together for me. So she's very special in that aspect as to where she has my favorite mold, my favorite skin tone, my favorite color of hair. I kind of already answered this one, but it's favorite doll overall and you guys know it is Penelope. Next doll you want to get, and this is Yasmin. She was created by Sebastian, um, Seb Repaints of Instagram, and I never thought I would really own a doll of his, but as far as the next doll I want to get, I would really like another one of his customs. Um, I know he's got some really great projects in the works, but 
I have to take my little doll spending hiatus, so I don't really have, like, I need to make a wish list of dolls, but if we're talking customs, which I'm really addicted to right now, um, it's definitely, I would love more customs from Seb and more customs as well from Vanessa, who created most of my customs. The doll you have in the worst condition, and mine is definitely Kirsten because she was my absolute favorite thing in the world until I got Elizabeth. She was my first doll with long hair. I was very, very young. Um, she, her wig is definitely going to need to be, I want to either replace it or get her a new head after removing shine marks and limb tightening or, well, no, eventually I would really love to have a display Kirsten that's in like pristine condition, but that is going to be very expensive. So right now I just keep her kind of tucked away so nothing else happens to her, but I do want a Kirsten to display eventually. The doll you have in the best condition and mine is my Ariel Mermaid Custom simply because I don't change her, her outfit completely stays the same so she's basically just for display. The doll that looks most like you and here she is my little mini me, um, Isabel Palmer, Girl of the Year 2014. Our only differences basically are the fact that my eyes are blue and um, my skin is much paler than hers. Who is your most recent doll? And mine is Allie, and she is actually my second successful eye swap. She was originally Mia St. Clair, but then I eye and wig swapped her, and she became Allie. And yes, in case you were wondering, she is wearing a folklore sweater, and it is from an Etsy shop, but it was the very last one in stock. <laughs> The doll that jump-started your collection, and I have Sophia here. She is my renamed Blair Wilson, but Kit jump-started my childhood collection, so I had 11 dolls from my childhood, and then in December of 2019, I'm sure you guys all know how I rediscovered AG, and then I ordered Blair on a whim, and within that same week, I also ordered Isabel and Leah, so then when I got home from vacation, I had three AGs waiting for me. So Sophia is basically kind of where my adult collecting began, and there were like, I don't know, 25 dolls after her, so she's the reason we are at 36 dolls. The doll that has your favorite name, and I'm going to go with Merlot for this one just because her name is very unique. If you guys don't know, my design of Merlot was basically based off of the name. I accidentally misheard Alley Cat Loves AG's um, doll's name, Marlo, and I heard it as Merlot, and I was like, oh my god, that's so pretty. Then I figured out, no, that's not actually her name. But then I just, I knew I had to name a doll Merlot doll you get the most compliments about and I'm sure it is no surprise here we have my angel eyes um Miss Angel and you guys are obsessed with her she is definitely one of my personal favorites as well I just her eyes her wig her makeup everything about her is absolutely stunning and I just had to give everybody like a full view so that's why I didn't put her like portrait shot in here and because I don't really like it that much but this is Angel and she is the doll that is definitely um seen a lot on my Instagram because she's very very fun to take pictures of she is my thumbnail on Instagram so she's she's a pretty iconic queen and we love her a lot a doll you used to not like but now love. And here is my sweet Kaya. She is next to Ariel. She's the only other doll I keep in her like accurate clothing basically. I've never changed her or anything like that. I just, I used to not care for her but then I ended up buying her because she's actually my grandma's favorite doll. So I bought her and then my best friend and I took her into the woods and we did a photo shoot. And Kaya is honestly so amazing. I love her so so much. That completes the tag. My friends, I had such a blast doing it. Koa, thank you for being the genius that created it. If you guys want to try it, like I said, feel free. It is super fun and you really get to, you know, think about your dolls and your collection and everything like that. We are extremely close to 200 subscribers and I would like to reach it by the end of October. So we have a couple more days left. If you guys have not already, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and tap that really cool notification bell so you can know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day and I will speak to you all soon. Bye everybody.